that it's a pleasure to be here on this intercultural night and to feel the warmth and the, the joy of everyone and to really give a, just a moment of respect to the other artists who read and who are going to read and who, who played. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to witness. So thank you for this opportunity and thank you for everyone being here. Uh, this is a poem, okay. This is a poem, I'll be on Riverdale Avenue soon. Um, this is a poem I wrote last fall. I live right near the College of Mount St. Vincent's, and one day I happened to be walking there, and the leaves were coming down, and I was just looking up, and it was wonderful to be part of that. I felt like I was in the, the college, the, the meadows, the, the fields in their environment, so that, that inspired me to write this. Falling. I just imagined it would be another wonderful few minutes in the glorious confines of the College of Mount St. Vincent. I had spent many lovely and peaceful moments there amongst the rolling lawns, steel gray, formidable, yet delicate rock formations, and the exquisite pond replete with showering fountain and multicolored fish. But this afternoon was to hold an unexpected joy as I paused by a railing overlooking a mosaic meadow whose floor was an interwoven puzzle of shadow and light, I looked skyward. Leaves flew down like tiny parachutists invading the serene setting. The winds blew and coaxed them from their branches. In an instant, they were free, free of being tethered to limbs which tried still to hold them close free and twisted and whirling flight, spinning for moments all too brief before joining their siblings in indistinguishable clumps on the cool and grassy earth. For mere seconds, they were proudly juxtaposed against the pale autumn sky. They were individuals as they had never been before, no longer part of a family of leaves clinging fastidiously together on their home twig they now ventured boldly out into space, experiencing the undeniable exhilaration of flying alone and unencumbered. They flew this way and that. Some plummeted with the decisiveness of a shaky stock market. Others lingered in midair and savored every second. They fell around me like huge snowflakes of orange and burnt sienna. Some went willingly with the serenity of a lioness waiting to give birth. Others seem to fight against their certain fate, like a boxer still throwing punches after the last bell has rung. I felt privileged to be part of this, to be in their house as they went out for a walk. Some came close and others made contact as if to acknowledge my presence. Were they saying thank you for witnessing our sacred descent and transformation from our lofty life to our earthly demise? I don't know, but I'm very glad I was there. Today I'm going to sing in Spanish. <laughs> this is my uh, first language. But um, I really I want that you looking out on each other. Quiero que se miren uno a los otros y puedan ver la calidad. And you can see the quality, the high quality, and the high character of the people in this, this night over here. So. I think this is a special occasion for all of us to stay here. And uh, I am no belong, no, no yet part of the society, the ethical society, but every day I cross over here from Riverdale, and I really appreciate the quality of the people who in the neighborhood living over here. And this is a great opportunity to the Hispanic community to share with all of you too. Uh, I, am, I don't speak English very well, I'm, I'm learning to speak, but <laughs> I try to communicate, okay? Um, a singer is not my profession, but I'm a teacher, I'm teaching math, science, and Spanish, GED, but I try uh, to communicate also with my instrument. And uh, 
we did some rehearsal yesterday with uh, like three people working together, uh, singing together for all of you. But uh, the lady say, no, you have to do one before while the other guy coming. <laughs> and uh, uh, I have to invent something and share with you something. Uh, Colgado de un barranco, duerme mi pueblo blanco, bajo un cielo que a fuerza de no ver nunca el mar, se olvidó de yo, por sus callejas de polvo y piedra. No pasaba, no pasó la guerra, sobre el olvido camina lento, bordeando la cañada, donde no crece una flor, ni trasuma un pastor. El sacristán ha visto hacer al cabo y el cabo al sacristán y mi pueblo es buen yo morí a los tres me pregunto por qué nacerá gente si nace el ojo frigue indiferente Escapad gente tierna, esta tierra está enferma y no esperes mañana lo que no te dio ayer, que no hay nada que hacer, o que tu mula o hembra tu arreo sigue el camino. Atravesando lo más, dejar mi pueblo atrás. Juro por lo que fui que me iría de aquí. Pero los muertos están en cautiverio y no nos dejan salir del cementerio.